Hi, this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and we buy and sell things for our two antique booths and the two antique malls that we're in. And today we're finally doing the depression glass video I've been promising everybody for. Now, let's talk about depression glass. Depression glass was made in the late 20s throughout the late 30s and some even into the 40s it was machine made glassware that was distributed free or at a low cost and it was done in the time of the great depression in the united states it was mass produced and it was principally made inexpensively and um, a lot of times they even put it in grocery stores and if you spend a certain amount of money you got a free piece every week i don't know if anybody remembers any of that and it comes in lots of different colors green pink amber clear amethyst yellow purple milk glass and red and so we went to several different places to get our pictures of our various patterns we went to plaza antiques in lincoln park michigan that's the mall that i'm in we went to the blissfield antique mall in blissfield michigan and we also went to mommy antique mall that's another mall that i'm in and the last place we went to is the depression glass show it's in southfield michigan and it's every november and we got lots of good pictures there so here's the first pattern we're going to talk about. It's Adam by the Jeanette Glass Company. It was made from 1932 to 1934. And if you, if you see things that are wrong, let us know. There's Adam right there that Arrow was pointing to. And feel, please feel free to make corrections. And there's a piece of Adam also. And then the next one is American Sweetheart by the Macbeth Evans Glass Company from 1930 to 1936. And the biggest way you can tell American Sweetheart is if you see the edges, they're kind of like opalescent and they uh, show through. So that um, there's only one other pattern that I know of that does that, but that's a sure sign of American Sweetheart. Now it's made in white and it's made in um, also in pink and you'll see uh, a picture of that right there. So we're gonna show you some more patterns. This is called Adam's Rib, right there. And the next one is called Addie. It's the red piece right there by New Martinsville. And the last one on that table we're gonna discuss is Aunt Polly. And in the front of the display of the Depression Glass Show, they had all the plates lined up. And here's one here, it's called Avocado by the Indiana Glass Company. So it made it really easy to see the patterns and compare it to. I wish we had better footage of this because this was just awesome how it was set up. So this first one here is Adam. The next one is Block Optic, Cameo, Doric, English Hobnail, and Florentine Number 1. And we'll be discussing those a little bit later with more samples. This is called Aurora. It's by the Hazel Atlas Glass Company. It was made in the 1930s, and it's not that front little one there. Um, it's actually the back picture, and I'll be pulling that out, and you'll see it here. There it is. That's the Aurora. The front one is another pattern. So this one's called Beaded Block by the Imperial Glass Company from 1927 to the 1930s. And you can see it came in lots of different colors. It's nice how they lined them all up there. There's a nice piece of blue. And we have it in clear also. This is called the Block Optic. It's by the Hocking Glass Company from 1929 to 1933. And we have lots of samples of Block Optic. And like I said, please feel free to correct us if we've made some mistakes. Um, we're, doing, we're doing the best we can with my knowledge and lots of books. <laughs> and here's another piece of Block Optic in green. And we tried to show as many samples as we could of different pieces in the pattern. Now there are reference books that have a lot more um, pictures of the, like the entire sets, but we did uh, what we could find at the malls and, and the various stores that we go to in the Depression Glass show. And this one's called Buttons and Bows. It's by the Jeanette Glass Company. And you see it here in the amber so the red and here it is in pink so lots of different colors people think that depression glass is just pink and green and it's not it's lots of colors 
and this is called Cameo by the Hocking Glass Company and it was made from 1930 to 1934 and here it is in yellow and then we have some in green beautiful pieces and here's the salt and pepper shaker in there and this was a whole uh, case of children's dishware and in yellow they really had a lot of the patterns at the depression glass show we had been waiting for this show to finish this video so we could show you as much as possible and you can kind of tell cameo it has it kind of has a swag on it with little leaves so that's the best way to tell and all the pieces are the same pattern they're just different colors and this is called cherry blossom it's by the Jeanette glass company it was made from 1930 to 1939 and this must have been plentiful in our area because I see a lot of this the cherry blossom now that was made for a longer period of time than some of the glassware so I mainly see it in pink but it does come in different colors also so here's another beautiful dish in pink and there's a grill plate and a, almost a complete set there with the beautiful serving bowls. And this is called Colonial or Knife and Fork. It's by the Hacking Gla Hacking Glass Company, 1934 to 1936. And this one's called Coronation or Banded Rib by the Hacking Glass Company from 1936 to 1940. And there that is in pink. This is Cupid by Payton City Glass Company from the 1930s. And this one's called Diamond Arches by the Hazel Atlas Glass Company in the 1930s. And this is called Diana by the Federal Glass Company, 1937 to 1941. This one is Dogwood or Apple Blossom or even Wild Rose and it's by the Macbeth Evans Glass Company from 1929 to 1932. Now if you have the names you could often uh, do a Google search on the internet if you have a particular piece and you're not sure if it's that pattern. And then it will be a little bit clearer to you. But we showed as many samples as we could for this video. And this is called Doric. It's by the Jeanette Glass Company from 1935 to 1938. And there it is in various colors. And there it is again in pink. And there's a covered dish. This is English Hobnail. It's made by the Westmoreland Glass Company from the 1920s to the 1940s. And this is called Floral Poinsettia by the Jeanette Glass Company from 1931 to 1935. This one's pretty easy to spot because the flowers just look, look exactly like poinsettias. So this one's um, an easy one to remember when you're out shopping. This one's called Florentine Number no. 1. It's by the Hazel Atlas Glass Company from 1932 to 1935. And this one here is called Iris. It's by the Jeanette Glass Company from 1928 to 1932. And here's another piece of Iris in the back there, and I pull it up so you can see it a little closer. It's also on the iridescent. And I did cover this in the collectible glass video that we've done in the past. So it kind of covers both eras because they made that for a while. This is called Jubilee by the Lancaster Glass Company in the early 1930s. This is Lace Edge or Katie Blue by the Imperial Glass Company in the early 1930s. And this one's called Lorraine by the Indian Gla Indiana Glass Company from 1929 to 1932. This one is called Madrid. It was made by the Federal Glass Company from 1932 to 1939 and I believe they remake this in blue to a reproduction this is Manhattan it's pretty easy to spot with the lines and it was made by the anchor glass company 1939 to 1943 this is called Mayfair open rows by the Hocking glass company from 1931 to 1937 
and this is another one that I see quite often in this area. Uh, it's kind of interesting where you see certain patterns, um, but we have a lot of that in pink in this area. It's pretty uh, easily found these days, even though it's quite old. But we have a nice variety of different pieces, so you can really see the pattern. The roses are typically in the middle with the ridges around the outside. And that one here, there has the roses actually on the outside. And this is a, a compote that they have the open roses on the outside. And this pattern is called Miss America. It's by the Anchor or by the Hocking Glass Company from 1935 to 1938. And it comes in pink and clear, and I'm not sure if there's other colors in there, but that's mainly what I've seen is pink and clear. This is called Modern Tone. It's made by the Hazel Atlas Glass Company from 1934 to 1942. Now they make a, a pastel, um, like a solid color pattern that was made a little bit later, but it's all considered modern tone. Like right there, that green and that yellow one, that's still the same pattern, but it was made a little bit later, um, 1934 to 1942 um, is when the, the more the blue was made, but the, um, the other colors like that were made a little bit later. But they're all the same pattern so if you're looking for the ridges that's the best way to tell if it's modern tone and there we have lots of it in blue there's a whole set of it beautiful i love the cobalt blue and this is modern tone by Hazel Atlas, the glass company. And this is the one I was talking about with the pastel colors. They were made 1940s to early 1950s. It was made a little bit later, but I still call it modern tone because it's the exact same pattern. It's just in different colors. And there's lots of different colors with this pattern. This is called Moon Drops by New Martinsville Glass Company from 1932 to 1940. This is called Newport or Hairpin by Hazel Atlas Glass Company from 1936 to the 1940s. And you see it here in the blue and also in the purple. And this is called Laced Edge or Open Lace or Old Colony by the Hocking Glass Company from 1935 to 1938. And it's interesting because the flat the flat pieces like the bowls and the um, and the plates have that lace edge, but the cups and like the sugar and creamer has more of the ridges. So it's a little bit tougher to identify than some of the other patterns are. But the plates are very obvious, as you can see right there. It's got the like almost like lace on the edge. Because when I saw the sugar and creamer, I wasn't even sure it was the same pattern because I'm always looking for that laced edge. You can see it in the cups there. There's just ridges. And this is called Oyster and Pearl by the Anchor Hocking Glass Company from 1938 to 1940. And you saw it in red, and we also have it in pink. My father used to collect this. He had the clear pattern. This here is the Columbia pattern. It was made by the Federal Glass Company from 1938 to 1942. And I put this here by the Oyster and Pearl because they're so similar. I wanted you to see the difference. And I have often made that mistake thinking it's Oyster and Pearl and it's Columbia. So um, here it is in the clear pattern. And we're gonna go back to our Oyster and Pearl in a second just so you could see the difference. And here's a nice piece in pink. And if I have something wrong, please correct me. And this is called Parrot by the Federal Glass Company from 1931 to 1932. And Parrot, you don't see very often, so it's uh, worth taking a picture of. You can, it's very obvious what it is, because it's definitely a, a bunch of parrots on a branch, so it's very easy spot, but you just don't see it real often. It wasn't made very long. And this is called Patrician or Spoke by the Federal Glass Company from 1933 to 1937. And that's a piece of uh, uh, Mayfair Open Rose that I picked up there. But the first one was the Patrician. And they, they call the Spoke, to me, I remember this by, um, when you look at a plate, it almost looks like a wheel. 
in a flat plate. You can see it right there. It looks like a wheel. So that might have been why they call it spoke. I'm not sure, but that's how I think of it. Helps me remember the patterns. And this is called Patrician again, and this is in green. This is called Pebble Leaf. It's by the Indiana Glass Company, and it was made in the 1920s. And this is called Petal Wear. It's by the Macbeth Evans Glass Company from 1930 to 1940. Now that has the translucent stuff too, just like the American Sweetheart, but it's in like more of a cream pattern, a cream color, I should say. So that's how you can kind of tell the difference. But it's kind of translucent. Now there it is in white. It does come in white also, and it's decorated in various different patterns. And this is called Pineapple by the Indiana Glass Company from 1932 to 1937. And I see that pineapple in that particular piece everywhere <laughs> where I go. It must have been popular. And this is called Princess. It's by the Hocking Glass Company from 1931 to 1935. And here it is in green. And you'll see it here in pink. My mother has an entire set of this in pink that she's collected through the years with lots of different pieces. That's the grill plate. And here are some saucers in that pattern. And this one's called Pyramid by the Indiana Glass Company from 1926 to 1932. This is Queen Mary by the Hocking Glass Company from 1936 to 1949. And there's the candlesticks in them in clear. So we saw the pink and the clear. And there it also is there in clear in that plate. This is called Rock Crystal by the McGee Glass Company, 1920s and the 1930s. And this one's called Rosemary by Federal Glass Company, 1935 to 1937. And this is called Royal Lace by the Hazel Atlas Glass Company from 1934 to 1941. So some of these companies have not made these very often, very long. So it's amazing how much of this is still out there. And there it is in pink. And probably because it was a cheaper glassware and probably everybody had a set or two of it in their house because it was very pretty for the cost. And there it is in blue and the cobalt blue. So we certainly would love to get a piece of that for free these days. <laughs> you don't see that anymore where they used to give them away in grocery stores. I can remember China, but never depression glass. That's before my time. But beautiful. Now there are three different kinds of sandwich glass. This is the sandwich glass made by the Indiana Glass Company from 1938 to the 1960s. And this is a depression glass piece. And then the next piece is also called sandwich glass. It's by the Anchor Hocking Glass Company and it's from 1939 to the 1960s. And you have to really look at your patterns to know the difference between them all. And this last pattern is also sandwiched, but this is more of elegant glass by the Duncan Miller Glass Company, 1924 to 1955. This is called Sharon or Cabbage Rose by the Federal Glass Company, 1935 to 1939. And there it was in pink and we also see it in the yellow or they call it amber there. And here's another piece of it. And green and here's a whole set of it so as you see there's lots of different colors and people don't realize there's lots of clear glass that's out there that's actually considered depression glass and here's a beautiful green pitcher this is called ships or it's the sportsman series and it's by hazel atlas glass company in the late 1930s and you see it typically with ships on it, but you can also see it with windmills. There it is with windmills. And you can also see it with um, dancers on it or um, jumping animals or um, all different things. But the, the basic glassware itself is the blue and it, the shape is the same. So there it also is with a sailboat on it. So you'll see that in variety and there it is with the picture. It'll be the same shape picture, but maybe with a different decal or a picture on the front of it. I don't know if it was considered a decal or painted or what it was, but that's what it is. And this is called Swirl by the Jeanette Glass Company. It was made from 1937 to 1938. And it's got that beautiful green color, almost like an aqua green. Very nice. There's like a whole set almost right there with lots of different pieces to look at. 
and here's some more with the glasses and the different various pieces. This is called Tea Room by the Indiana Glass Company. It was made from 1926 to 1931. And this is called Thistle by the Macbeth Evans Glass Company from 1929 to 1930. And this one's called Twistic Optic by the Imperial Glass Company from 1927 to 1930. This one is called Waterford Waffle. It's by the Hocking Glass Company from 1938 to 1944. I see a lot of this in clear, even at thrift shops. I see a lot of those platters, so that must have been something that was very popular back in the day. But if you know your patterns, you'll be able to identify it quickly. It takes some time to learn them, and here it is also. Very shiny. Looks like it's brand new. This is called Windsor by the Jeanette Glass Company, made from 1936 to 1946. And there it also is there with the arrow. You see it in our plate lineup that they had at the Depression Glass Show. And this is the end of our show. There's a lot of patterns we didn't get, but we tried to cover as much as we could. So I hope you all enjoy it and maybe learned a little something from it. And this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles saying goodbye, and we'll see you again. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.